Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Game, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to test your dead zones and see if you have any kind of stick drift in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. So let's press options and go on over to settings and go to controller. Now scroll on down to the bottom of the controller page here, and we can find dead zones. Press square on this and open this up. And then we can go to where it says test dead zones right now. So I have mine set to 5 5. And I'm just going to turn this on and see if I have any kind of stick drift. So on the left stick and the right stick, you can see it says zero, zero. If I move this around just a little bit, you can see it's like 40, 50, 70, 100 percent right here. And we can just see if we have any kind of stick drift. If we leave these uh, without moving them or touch them and it says zero, that means it's good. Now we can go down below and we can just test this out at the zero value here as well. So. We can turn this on and it looks like at zeros, I don't have any stick drift either. So if you do have a, just a little bit of stick drift, let's say you have maybe like 3% stick drift. So I have it stuck at 4% right now. I can turn this off and then I can go on over to the left stick and I can bump this up to 4% and then turn this on and the stick drift will be removed and I don't have to worry about that anymore. So if I turn this off now, I should still have like a 4% stick drift. Looks like there's not anything on there anymore. But just bump up your left stick or your right stick depending on how much drift you have. And you should be able to eliminate the stick drift by just increasing this or decrease this. Now I think it's better to play around like maybe four or five for the value here just because the aim assist is so strong. If you have it set to zero, sometimes your aim assist won't engage because you'll overshoot the target or something like that. So yeah, definitely want to be using the aim assist to your advantage and setting everything to zero might not be the best option all the time, even though you're more accurate with like a sniper. So depending on your play style, if you're sniping a little bit, you might want it set to like zero. Sometimes I like it like that when I'm sniping with super high sensitivity, but I've been setting mine to about five recently just because I know it's the uh, aim assist helps so much. It just catches people and just sticks to them if I have it at five versus zero. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six gaming.